construct a parabola of span 120 and height of 80. So the very first thing is to draw a thin horizontal line. All right. After drawing a thin horizontal line, I'm going to project a vertical line. All right. So draw a vertical line. So it says span of what 120. So I'm going to measure 120 for my span, which is this. All right. Then height of what height of 80, which is this. All right. So I haven't gotten that. I'm going to project this over this side. Okay. I haven't settled that. So the next thing is this. I'm going to denote this point as point A, point B, point C, and point D. So the very first thing I'm going to do here is to divide the span into half. Yeah. So half of 120 is what is 60. All right. Which is 6. I'm going to name that point what? Point E. All right. So then I'm going to also what? It. Okay, so after doing that, so I'm going to divide each of these apps into uh, six equal parts. All right, I'm going to also divide. I'm going to divide the height also into what into six equal parts. So since this place is sixty, it is going to be what easy. So one, two, three, four, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, five so, and six. So after uh doing that so the next thing is i'm going to join each of those divided parts all right i'm going to join them downwards i'm going to draw them downwards all right i'm going to do the number this is zero one two three four Five and six. One, two, three, four, five and six. So the next thing is to divide this height into six parts. Since this height is 80, so I can't do that with two lines. So I'm going to use what my division of line technique. I'm applying a division of line technique to divide this area. All right. So if you don't know how to divide using division of line technique, I have a video on that on my channel. Kindly go through and watch that before you proceed. So after dividing it, I'm going to transfer it to the other side of the height over there, which is the first one there, right? Second, then we're dividing it one into six parts. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and what, and six. Likewise, also the same thing here. Okay, I haven't done that. The next thing is to join. Okay, so from point zero to uh, point one here, one, two, three, four, Five and six. So from point zero, which is here to point one here, I'm going to what draw a line. Okay, wherever my line touches the vertical line of one, I'm going to what asterisk. All right. So I'm doing the same thing on the opposite side also. From point zero to where to point one. All right. Okay. Wherever it touches the vertical line of one, I'm going to what asterisk. So zero to point two. Here it touches the vertical line of point two. I'm going to what asterisk. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side also. I'm going to what asterisk. So I'm repeating the same procedure up to what point six. Okay, you can see now I have the point. So the next thing is to pick my French curve or flexible curve and draw out the curves. Alright, so that's the uh, parabolic curve. Thank you.